Hi guys, welcome to Flick Finest. The best apocalypse movies on Prime Video have one thing in common. They imagine the collapse of modern society and hold a broken mirror up to the unlucky survivors. In movies, the end of the world can be caused by a virus, zombies, nuclear war, a giant meteor, a water or food crisis, or some other natural or unnatural disaster. Either way, apocalyptic and post-apocalyptic movies are about those who somehow survive the worst case scenario for the planet. Today I am going to rank the 10 apocalypse movies to stream on Prime Video. We hope that this selection will be useful and everyone will find something new to watch. So let's not waste any time and begin. Number 10. Before the Fire Before the Fire is a little different from other post-apocalyptic movies because it takes place during an apocalyptic event but in an area away from most of the devastation. With a mostly unknown cast, the movie focuses on a woman named Ava, an actress who leaves Los Angeles for her hometown in South Dakota when a deadly flu pandemic starts to kill people across the world. When she arrives home, the townspeople are not all that welcome and dismiss her for Lee to start with. However, the movie then veers into more of a dramatic territory as the town ends up barricaded and blocked off from the world. This causes the people there to become slightly territorial and controlling and Ava realizes she has more to fear in this small town than the flu that threatens to eventually seep in. The movie was a festival movie that ended up shut down thanks to COVID-19 and the all-too-real pandemic, which made the fictional version in the movie a little too uncomfortable at that time. Number 9. Death Race 2000 When it comes to post-apocalyptic movies, Death Race 2000 remains one of the most beloved cult classics in the genre. The movie tells the story of a dystopian America where a murderous race called the Transcontinental Road Race is the biggest form of entertainment for society. It takes place in the future year of 2000 when the world economy and governments crashed in 1979 and now a totalitarian regime exists with martial law and people forced to kill each other for entertainment. On top of the wild car action and violence, the movie was also full of names who became familiar faces in the future. David Carradine stars in the movie as Frankenstein, one of the greatest racers on the planet. Also appearing in the movie is a very young Sylvester Stallone. The movie received poor reviews when released but has since become a cult classic and even got a remake years later with 2007's Death Race. Number 8. 9. Released in 2009, the movie 9 tells the story of a world destroyed by an apocalypse and humankind has ended after machines rose against them. What remains are 9 ragdolls, created by a scientist, each sent to battle the fabrication machine in the hope they could re-spark life on Earth once again. These ragdolls contain part of the scientist's human soul and embody his flaws and good qualities. As the title indicates, the ninth ragdoll, 9, is who the movie follows. The movie sees each of the nine ragdolls setting out to stop the machine, with nine being the most thoughtful and humane of the group, and the one who wants more than anything to learn the meaning of life. The movie was only a minor box office success, but it earned two Annie Awards nominations and received mixed to positive reviews from the critics, with praise going to the animation style. Number 7. Fido. In 2007, the Canadian horror movie Fido took the zombie genre and breathed life into it, creating one of the best zombie movies of all time and done in a way that was unlike anything that came before. Dylan Baker stars as Bill, a man terrified of zombies, while Carrie Ann Moss is his wife Helen. In this world, the zombie apocalypse has ended, and the humans won and domesticated the zombies. Using a control collar, the zombies are not domesticated servants for the living. However, Fido follows Bill and Helen's son, Timmy, and the family's domesticated zombie, Fido. When Fido's collar malfunctions and he eats a local woman, the public starts to panic that the technology is failing. It is up to Timmy to help uncover dark secrets from the organization making the collars while saving his zombie friend. The movie received mostly positive reviews and has become a cult classic in the same vein as Shaun of the Dead. Number 6. Train to Busan 
Just as it seemed the zombie genre was running out of steam, Train to Busan delivered a hugely entertaining and suspenseful action movie. The South Korean project follows a neglectful man who takes his daughter on a train going to Busan only for a zombie outbreak to take over. The remaining passengers band together to secure themselves in the remaining safe cars and battle against the increasing hordes of the undead. The movie is a fast-paced ride with a cast of terrific characters that elevate the genre's storytelling and add to the excellent sequences of suspense and horror. Number 5. Night of the Living Dead It isn't a surprise to see Night of the Living Dead as an apocalyptic movie on Prime Video. The movie slipped into the public domain almost instantly after its release due to errors in its contracts. This means that most streaming services have the first modern-day zombie horror movie available to stream. George Romero changed the zombie movie genre forever when he took the old Caribbean legends and changed things up to have the actual dead rising from their graves. Number 4. Invasion of the Body Snatchers One of the rare horror remakes that is better than the original Invasion of the Body Snatchers is a brilliant slow-burn horror movie. Donald Sutherland stars as a man in a small town who begins to notice that some citizens are not acting like themselves. Gradually, he and others begin to realize their neighbors and loved ones are being replaced by alien doppelgangers. Even when the truth is revealed to the characters, the movie maintains its quiet and clever approach as the survivors attempt to avoid becoming assimilated. It is a creepy and gripping story that builds to one of the greatest endings in horror movie history. Number 3. Shaun of the Dead Shaun of the Dead kicked off the Three Flavors Cornetto trilogy with what many people feel is the best entry overall. Simon Pegg stars as an aimless and lazy man who must turn his life around and win back his girlfriend just as a zombie apocalypse is taking over. The movie is not quite a spoof as it creates real stakes and emotion for the characters. It also has a lot of fun poking fun at the tropes of zombie movies. The humor and direction make it a fun time while it also features a wonderful cast with Nick Frost stealing the show as Sean's even less motivated best friend. Number 2. Interstellar. With its incredible scope and sci-fi concepts, many people may forget that Christopher Nolan's Interstellar is an apocalypse movie. Taking place in the future as the Earth is gradually dying, Matthew McConaughey plays an engineer who is recruited for a space mission to find a planet that will be suitable to sustain humanity when they need to leave Earth. As can be expected with Nolan, the end-of-the-world aspects are treated in a very scientific and grounded way. It is the space adventure that grabs the audience's attention as a mind-bending journey with an unexpected end. Number 1. Dune Dune is a science fiction action movie that shows an apocalyptic war on a planet beyond the stars. Based on the novel series by Frank Herbert, the movie introduces a planet called Arrakis, which is the home of a valuable resource known as spice, something that is vital for interstellar space travel. The rule of the planet of Kaladin is more than ready to raise the entire planet of Arrakis for the spice, even if it means killing everyone there in the process. With the threat of an apocalyptic future, war breaks out between the people of Arrakis called the Freemen and the invaders heading onto their planet. The first movie sets up the war perfectly while showing how the planet faces the threat of apocalypse if this war is lost. The sequel arrived in theaters in 2024 after director Denis Villeneuve released the original to worldwide acclaim and box office success. This movie earned 10 Oscar nominations, winning six. Well, this is it. Share your impressions in comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for upcoming videos. Bye.